Hey guys, I'm Jade Spencer and you are watching CITV. You are not here by chance, you are here because you crave to create, experience, and inspire more in life. And today's discussion is tapping into creativity. How do you personally tap into creativity? How do you instill more creativity in your life? I will talk about some ways that work for me, and I would love for you to comment and start discussions below on what you personally do to create more creativity in your life to inspire others. Um, one thing for me would be to examine the space that I'm in. So any space that I work from, um, live in even, I love to be inspiring and full of color and textures and placed a certain way. So I love journals and books and lamps and candles, uh, black and white photos which you see behind me here, uh, books if I didn't say that already. I love all of these things and this is what encompasses my space. And I encourage you to live with the things that you love and place those things in your space so that you can have a space that is inspiring and allows you to expand and create so that you can inspire others. Um, so to start with, declutter anything that is stale. Um, I By stale, I mean that you're not using anymore. Maybe you haven't used it for years. Maybe it's a book that you bought you know, five years ago and you've never read and it's still sitting on your shelf and it has no meaning to you. Get rid of it. You don't need it. So stacks of paper. Maybe there's certain energies in the room, uh, certain photographs that don't resonate with you anymore. Or they're creating anxiousness. Um, stacks of paper, clutter. Get rid of it. Expand and create a space of organization so that you can clear your mind and have clarity to create. Um, number two would be setting the mood. So simply setting the mood for me is subdued lighting, lots of lamps, indirect lighting, and warmth. I cannot stand fluorescent lighting. A lot of people know uh, that it just, a lot of people who know me know I can't stand fluorescent lighting, that it, it just drains me. Um, I don't know if some other people feel the same way, so I try not to have fluorescent lighting at all. I've got it on right now, uh, just because so you can see me in this video. Maybe later we'll try candlelit videos. Uh, but today, we're just going to do fluorescence. Anyway, um, time of day to create. I would challenge you to create in a space and time where you don't want to, where maybe you're bored, you're uninspired, you're frustrated, you're anxious, and the last thing you can think about doing is pulling out a blank sheet of paper or pulling out um, your laptop and just writing or pulling all your paints out to paint. Try to um, create in, in that time and see what comes up for you so that you can process and bring awareness to those emotions that you're going through and work past them. Because what's happening is on a daily basis you're creating this space and time where you're feeling the same thing every day, frustration, anger, boredom, and it's a, a cyclical cycle. So blast it and do something different with it. Create during it. See what comes up. Shed light on it. Move past it and forward it and forward from it. Um, I want to skip back to um, number two and setting the mood with music. Um, this helps a lot of people set the mood to create. A lot of people listen to music with words, and I would encourage you to listen to music with no words. A, a lot of music I've been listening to lately is violin or instrumental symphony music, the reason being is this allows me to have stillness in my own thoughts. Someone's not placing a thought or an opinion on me such as heartbreak or sadness or something, you know, has gone wrong. Listen to music with no words and see what happens. Anyway, thank you for watching CITV. Leave comments and discussions below. I look forward to them. Tapping into creativity is what we talked about today. I look forward to next Monday on Inspiration Monday. Bye.